Millions of Americans have lost jobs in the COVID-19 recession. As family budgets are strained, energy bills remain a major challenge for millions of families. My name is Arielle Drehobel, and I'm the lead author of ACEEE's new report on household energy burdens, which measure the percentage of income spent on energy bills. When we crunched the numbers, we found that even before the pandemic, a quarter of U.S. households had a high energy burden. That means that a quarter of households in the U.S. spend more than 6% of their income on their energy bills. That's more than twice what the average household spends. This is even more stark for low-income families, where two-thirds of them had a high energy burden. Every way we look at the data, we found inequality. For example, we found that black households spend 43% more of their income on their energy bills as compared to white households. And Hispanic households spend 20% more and Native American households spend 45% more. According to federal data, many of the same communities that experience high energy burdens due to systemic policies and historic underinvestment are now being hit hardest by job losses and the impacts of the recession. There's a lot that we can do to reduce energy costs and these disparities. Many people with high energy burdens live in inefficient housing with older appliances, bad insulation, or old heating and cooling equipment that waste a lot of energy. We estimate that weatherizing a home can reduce the energy burden for the average low-income family by about 25%. Yet many low-income households aren't afforded access to the upfront capital needed to invest in energy efficiency improvements. That's where the federal, state, and local governments and utilities can come in. In order to improve energy affordability and reduce unequal burdens, they need to boost funding for energy efficiency work and ensure that these investments reach communities who experience the disproportionate impacts of high energy burdens. As we work through this pandemic and recession, we need to look for equitable, long-term solutions to improving energy affordability. Low-income housing retrofits, energy efficiency, and weatherization move us in the right direction.